Hey everybody, JJ and Paul here today with Weldco JCB, Ron's Equipment Company, and we're going to be going over the Dan User Mega Mixer S75. So today we've got it hooked up to a JCB 300T uh, track skid steer. So you can run this on uh, pretty much any skid steer that's going to be making, you know, about 25 gallons per minute or so um, on your hydraulic flow. Um, you can see on this side right here, down below, if your skid or tractor or whatever you're putting it on isn't universal skid steer um, attachment, it does have these pockets down below where you can put this on uh, pallet forks. And then it's got these little uh, slots right here where you can put your chain so that you can secure it to your pallet forks. Um, you know, in initially, we kind of viewed it as a, a concrete mixer. I mean, that's that's one of its main jobs, but you can use this for all kinds of different applications. You can put feed in it. You could use it, you know, with dirt or uh, rock or anything like that, like a landscape project, any type of stuff like that. Very versatile. Um, you can see from over here, you do have this cutting edge, so you can actually use it, you know, almost like a bucket to scoop feed or, or whatever you're working with. Um, into the mixer itself and you see down in there you've got a big eight inch auger running the length of the mixer here and that's powered hydraulically um, on the back side you can see your skid is mounting up to this bracket here and this bracket is just held on with this pin one pin on either side and what that allows you to do is you can pull that pin It'll pull the bracket off with your skid, and then you can come around and put it on this side. And so that pin will run through that hole right there on this side, and that will allow you to dump out. I mean, you're essentially dumping out the same side of the mixer, but it'll change which side of your skid it's on. So depending on how your project is set up, you know, you can either dump out the right side of the skid or the left side of the skid based on which side you hook the other machine up to. So that's what we've got going on there. Um, this is going to be your handle that will open the door so that your uh, concrete or feed or whatever material you have in there will start being fed out by the auger. And then to shut the door, that little latch right there that'll shut the door um, this will hold without the hopper extension which the hopper extension is not on this at the moment i didn't order it with a hopper extension but just set up the way that it is it'll hold three quarters of a cubic yard of concrete so with the hopper extension you'll get a full yard so the three quarters of a yard is going to be uh 25 80 pound bags is how much it'll hold i like this feature a lot you've got these kind of rippers up here so you can lay your concrete bag on it and it rips it open basically for you making filling of the hopper super easy and efficient um it's also going to come standard with two of these chutes here on the, one on either side and we'll have our buddy paul here pull them off, um, pull this one off and show you how it hooks on there. There's a few different options that they provide as far as how you can pour. So it comes standard with two of these. You can see the other one is mounted right there above where Paul's working. And it's just that easy. It goes right on. Each, each one of these is gonna be two foot long. So if you use both of them, it'll give you a four foot. Um, what do you wanna call that, Paul? Uh, sure I like it um, you according to the manufacturer you can put up to four of them on there which would give you eight foot um, without needing any kind of a support chain so you can do that they also make a hose that will attach similar to how the little ramp there just attached and then it gives you uh, I think the hose is five foot long and you know, you can use that for concrete or whatever you're doing to 
have a more controlled pour. So, yeah, I mean, these are super versatile. Like I said, you got a cutting edge on there so you can actually scoop feed into them. One of the things they talk about in the manufacturer's video is, you know, if you had sick cattle or something like that and you're needing to fix it, uh, mix their feed and their antibiotics or whatever you're giving them, you know, you could load this where you have all that stuff. And then as you're driving out to where your sick animals are, it can be mixing that all together while you're going. So there's a lot of different applications for this mixer rather than, you know, only concrete. You can do a lot of different stuff. Like that. So very versatile attachment. We've got it in stock here at Prospect Valley or Kingsburg location. Um, let us know if you got any questions. I'll have Paul hop in there and fire it up. I mean, it's, it's simple. It's just running on constant flow off your skid steer. And, uh, yeah, I believe in the video, the manufacturer's video, they said that, um, it'll empty the entire, if you have the whole thing full, it can empty it in 28 seconds, I believe. So pretty impressive flow rate with that auger there. and answer people's questions um a little bit tougher now just because if they do have a question about a specific machine it'd be kind of tough to show you guys the the answers and stuff like that if we don't have the machine in stock so we're doing our best thanks for watching we appreciate it have a good day hey guys uh, real quick before we uh, end the video here i uh, just thought about this i'll show you what i mean by you can uh, you know scoop items into it you know if you wanted to load feed into it and use it to feed or you know scoop up some rocks and use it to you know disperse your rocks as you're doing landscaping stuff like that so to, to pull off you know your top grate here which you would remove if you wanted to scoop um, it's just going to be you know a pin four pins essentially and they pull and then they kind of stop i'm sorry see that little nipple on the end of the pin has to be lined up like such. I'm oh, sorry, there are actually six pins holding it in. Um, two of them as well. So, I'll stop the video and take all of that stuff out and then we'll show you what we need. So you can see now we've got the grating off the top. You can just see six pins, two on either end, two in the middle. Thank you. 